Have you ever been wondered what's the difference between hen and the rooster? Well, there were two boys who argued so much because they couldn't find any difference in it and made the bet at the end. It all started at early morning in a rural town. Kiko and his younger brother were busy driving the chickens away from the cornfield. These chickens were scratching the newly planted seedlings of corns for food. When all of a sudden, they heard the rapid flapping of wings coming from a far end of the field and decided to check what is going on. Wow, look at that rooster fly. If only I had a rooster like that, I would get rich in the cockpit. Let's go and catch it. No, you stay here. I'll go and catch it. As they reached the direction of the flapping sound, they saw two chickens fighting, but could not see them clearly as they were lunging at each other in the middle of a whirlwind of feathers and dust. Knowing that they were very busy fighting each other, there's no chance for these chickens to notice Kiko. As he successfully got near them, he dived and caught one of them by the leg. It struggled and quacked, trying to get out of his grip. But the determined Kiko finally held it by both wings and it became still. Why? It's a hen. What's the matter with you? Is the heat making you sick, huh? No, of course. No one in space. It has no bombs or waters. No common waters? Who cares about common waters? Did... Sure, I saw it in fight, but I still say it's a hen. Have you ever seen a hen with a spurs on its leg like this? A hen with a tail like this? I don't care about its spurs or tails, but I still say it's a and so, the argument went on in the fields the whole morning, until they went to eat lunch. Kiko and his younger brother didn't stop arguing even during on their way home. When they arrived at their house, Kiko tied the chicken to a peck. The chicken flapped its wings and then crowed. There, did you hear that? I suppose you're going to tell me now that hens crow and the caribou fly. I don't care if it crows or not. That chicken is a hen. It is a hen. No, it's not. It is. Hey, hey, that's enough. How many times should your father tell you boys not to argue during lunch, huh? What is the argument about this time? This is the time that the argument might possibly end it. But father also went out to see the chicken. That chicken is a binabae. It is a rooster that looks like a hen. No mother, you are wrong. That chicken is a binalake. A hen which looks like a rooster. Have you been drinking again? Um, no. Then what makes you say that rooster is a hen? Have you ever seen a hen with feathers like that, huh? Listen, I've handled so many fighting roosters since I was a boy. And you cannot tell me that thing is a rooster, honey. You know well that it is a rooster. You are just being mean and stubborn. He began to put his arms around his wife and began to embrace her. He always does that when she cried, while Kiko and his younger brother felt embarrassed and decided to leave the house without finishing their lunch. I know who can help us with this problem. Teniente Tasho, chief of the barrio. Tiniente, Tasho, is this chicken a male or a female? That is a question that can only concern another chicken. Look, Tiniente, me and my brother have a very special interest in this chicken. So please give us an answer. Say yes or no. Is this a rooster? It doesn't look like any rooster that I am. It is a hen then. It doesn't look like any hen either. Have you ever seen like animal this before? Then how do you know it is a chicken? Well, what else could it be? It could be another kind of bird. Oh, what's the use? Well, what do we do now? Let's go to town and ask Mr. Goose. I'm sure you would know. 
Mr. Eduardo Cruz is an expert at poultry racing who graduated the particular field in the University of the Philippines. He lives in a nearby town of Katubusan. He owned and operated the largest poultry business in town. His siblings took the chicken to his office. Mr. Cruz, is this chicken a hen or a rooster? Um, I don't know. I couldn't tell in one look. I have never run across a chicken like this before. Well, is there any way you can tell? Yeah, sure. Look at the feathers on its back. If the feathers are round, then it's a hen. If they are pointed, it's a rooster. The three examined the feathers closely, but unfortunately, it had both of the set characteristics. Hmm, very peculiar. Is there any other way you could tell? Well, I could kill it and see it inside. No, I do not want it killed. Kiko's younger brother took the rooster in his arms and walked back to the barrio. I know why I can prove to you that this is a rooster. How? Would you agree to me that that is a rooster if we take it in a cockpit and it wins? Yeah, if this end of yours could beat a gamecock, I would believe anything. Alright, we'll take it in a cockpit this coming Sunday. So in that set Sunday, they took the chicken to the cockpit. Kiko looked around for a suitable opponent and finally picked a red rooster. The rooster was known as a veteran of the pit, whose picture had once graced the cover of the gamecock magazine, Pintakasi. Also, it was the Chantel Clear that had once escaped from the forest and lured all the hens away from the surrounding farms. Raising its serpent-like head, the red rooster eyed the chicken arrogantly and jiggled its sickle feathers. This scenery made his younger brother frightened. Do not take your in against that rooster. That rooster is not a native chicken. That's a Texas cock. That does not mean anything to me. My rooster will kill it. Don't be a fool. That red rooster is a killer. It has killed more chickens than the cholera. There is no rooster in this province that could take its job. Pick a smaller rooster! Now, are you convinced that this is a rooster? Ah, uh, yes. The argument finally ends. But the chicken seemed to construct other ideas. It began to quiver and something round and warm dropped onto Kiko's hand. The chicken crackled. Both of them slowly looked down and saw an egg.